Okay, so the uh, the keen-eyed amongst you might have noticed these three cubes, which are not in the um, in the assets as they've been downloaded. Uh, this is a an, an extra kind of uh, feature that I had uh, forgot to include in the original, but um, obviously I'm including now. Uh, these are using um, instance or custom primitive data. Um, so what does that mean? Well, if I open up my material here, anytime we create a parameter, uh, we can obviously override that on a per instance basis and use material instances. Uh, but we can also select this option here, use custom primitive data. Um, just any parameter, custom primitive data, there we are. Give it a name and let's do metallic because that's not here yet. Uh, and then we need to assign it a number or an index. So here I've got color using index 0, 1, 2, and 3, roughness using index 4, so metallic makes sense to use index 5. And what that will do, just uncross my lines here, uh, will allow us to set these values actually on the mesh itself. Uh, so rather than making an instance of the material, what we're going to do is we're going to set the values directly on those cubes and we'll be able to effectively edit this material um, per object but without using the material instance system uh, and this is a little bit cheaper um, than using instances so for example if I just duplicate another one of these cubes let's come out of mesh paint mode that would help give it a second to think about what it's doing there we go so if I duplicate one of these cubes if I type in custom primitive uh, down in the rendering tab here custom primitive data um, and it has picked up the names so if I just delete all of that uh, because it's got the right material assigned to it it's picked up the names and the um, and the options we've got available to us here and we can just add the element do that for each of these and we can pick a color and it will update automatically we can make it whatever we like uh, we can pick a roughness so we can do a fully rough or shiny and we can also pick a metallic value as well so um, depending on what you're doing if you're creating a lot of objects uh, where you have slight subtle variations in your um, material instance then this might be a better way of doing it it's a little bit cheaper than using instances uh, if you've got lots of materials that are similar um, let's say you're doing I don't know a, a a modular pack of brick walls maybe you want half of your meshes to also share the same brick wall material settings that might be better as an instance and so uh, just another way of accessing that sort of um, that data inside a material using custom primitive data okay